Mrs. Froney here. Um, I'm missing you all so, so much. So I thought to try and feel like I'm there a little bit and with you and we're all together, I would read a book. So I've chosen The Day the Crayons Quit because this is a book that if you've been in my class before, you know that I love to read and I really enjoy doing all the special voices for all the crayons. So I hope you enjoy it. So it's The Day the Crayons Quit by Oliver Jeffers. Well, the words and pictures are both by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hi Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long I wear myself out colouring fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to colour all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Red crayon there. Dear Duncan, alright, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards' hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Scruffy colouring in there and a very hungry crayon. <sighs> Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige. I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners if I'm lucky. And we, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about colouring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. That's a sad bit of wheat there, isn't it? <sighs> Duncan, grey crayon here, you're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are grey. But that's a lot of space to colour in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those for once in a while? Just to give me a break. Your very tired friend. Grey crayon. Some, some very big grey things there. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as the page you're using me on. White! If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or to fill in an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. It's white cat in the snow by Duncan. Hi Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are coloured in by other crayons, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colours of the ball with all the other crayons, how about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Mm, it doesn't have the same effect, does it? Hey Duncan, there's a green crayon, I'm writing for two 
reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I have no problems. I wish to congratulate you on a very successful colouring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Okay. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the colour of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun. Yellow crayon. There he is, a happy fan with the yellow sun. Orange don't look happy about it. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon I already talked to you about the, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr Tattletail that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the colour of the sun because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both Monkey Island and meet the zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo colouring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real colour of the sun, Orange Crayon. There you go, two orange suns, so maybe he's right. colour this past year and the year before that and the year before that. I really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Look at him. I don't know if you can see there, my hand's in the way, but a little tiny stubby crayon is really tired now. Duncan, okay, listen here kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister, I said thank you for using me to colour in her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to colour the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Quite like a pink dinosaur. This is my favourite crayon. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Oh, bless him. All well, his clothes are there. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to colour. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring. So we've got a big orange whale so that the grey gets a break there. We've got a pink dinosaur. He hasn't, well he's done an orange sun there. And then coloured everything else yellow. So maybe he's saying that orange is the colour of the sun. Yes. And blue's only been used a little bit so it gets a rest. Little grey penguin. That's good. And a gold star for creativity. Using all the colours. I think that's it. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you're all staying safe and looking after yourselves. And I can't wait to see you all soon. It's been far too long. But hopefully we'll all be together again soon.